Delta machine at Brampton Civic Hospital completing its scans on a set of samples. It's this unit that has allowed William Osler Health System to be the first in the country to offer in-house liquid biopsies, something Dr. Brandon Sheffield says is revolutionizing cancer care. In a liquid biopsy, we take a tube of blood uh, collected in any uh, setting and we can get the same information uh, just from that tube of blood as we would otherwise get from a tissue biopsy. Liquid biopsies themselves are not new, but it's the turnaround time and cost that makes this game changing for the hospital's cancer patients. In Canada, a patient typically pays thousands of dollars out of pocket for the test, which is sent to an external lab. At William Osler's Brampton location, everything from collecting the blood sample to testing and receiving the results are done within the same building, and the hospital covers the cost. When we do that right here in our own facilities, that's enabled the world's fastest delivery of liquid biopsy results. In cancers that are progress uh, that have already progressed, uh, time, as you know, time is of the essence. In December 2021, Simi Chaco was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer at another hospital. But after having a tissue biopsy, was told it would take at least a month to understand more about the mutation and determine next steps. She says a friend referred her to Dr. Chima, the director of cancer care at William Osler. Even though it was the holiday season, she asked me to come come in right after the holidays on 29th, uh, 29th of December. And within three days, they were able to identify what was the mutation, what kind of care I needed. And that was only because they had access to the molecular NGS test. The hospital began offering in-house liquid biopsies in 2021 and has so far tested over 100 patients. But the doctors here say it's not something that is right for everyone and is taken on a case-by-case -case basis. It's different by cancer type depending on the stage of different cancers as well. So I would uh, recommend that patients talk to their oncologist to see if this um, uh, test would be for them. Now whether this type of service could be expanded across Canada, that's really up to each province to decide. As William Osler is leading the way, it has now published a paper with the data it's gathered over the past few years and it hopes that this will inform future decisions. In Brampton, Ontario, Erica Natividad, City News.